Hey guys, it's me Davis. I got a comment on one of my videos on how to record in No Limits. So, I decided to make a tutorial on that. So, first of all, you're going to have to open up No Limits Simulator. And it's actually quite simple to record in it. No Limits has an integrated AVI export. So, pick your track. Apparently, I have difficulty doing that. <sighs> Come on. Let, let it load. You all know how to open a track up, right? That is if you have no limits. Okay, now once you're in here, you're going to have to want to press what I believe is uh, numpad 0. Now, it's usually numpad 0, but just to be sure, go to hit H and hit it two more times and check it. As you can see, in, for me, it's numpad 0 and it will probably stay that way. So, now that you know that, you can uh, record. So, you hit 0 to begin recording, and you hit 0 to stop recording. Quite simple, actually. Now, let's just wait for a car to come up. I'm sorry for the bad frame rate, guys. Um, Camp Studio isn't very great at recording stuff. So... You'll know you're recording when it says no limits closer to the top. The frame rate, frame rate will most likely go down, and you may stop hearing noise. I kind of forget. I have bad memory. So, once you've done that, you, you remember you hit zero to stop it, and you can get out of no limits, and you will have to go to your program files in no limits and your screenshots. Now, go to local disk, program files. No limits. Now, depending on what version of limits you have, it will be no limits 1.7 or 1.8 or 1.2. Like I said, whatever version you have. In my case, it's 1.8. Once you get here, go to screenshots and you'll find your video. Unfortunately, I don't. Uh, I've set no limits not to export to that location. But don't worry, for you, they will be here unless you change it. Of course, I store them in my second hard drive. And as you can see, here's the video. Now, keep in mind that the resolution that No Limits is set to play at is what it, it will record in. Also, these video files are raw video. They are not compressed and they will use up a lot of memory. A 2 minute 1080p HD recording will use up 20 gigabytes, which is a lot of memory. In fact, on my old computer, I only have 40 gigabytes. So, you're going to want to compress that and get rid of it soon. In order to. What I mean by compress is you just simply import it into Windows Movie Maker and save it as like an HD WMV or a regular WMV if you want to lose the resolution or lower the resolution. So let's find a recording I have here and I'm going to, you know, you'll see how it's a lot very stuttery. It doesn't really run very well because it is a uncompressed video file. My computer cannot run it. Run it. It's just too much memory. Okay, um, so I'm going to drag it to the timeline, and I'm going to export that one clip as a HD WMV. Or if it isn't HD, you can just make a regular AVI or some kind of compressed thing. So I'm going to put it in, you know, my second hard drive in my videos. I'm going to create a folder called Shockwave, which is the coaster I'm recorded. Yeah, I wrote that recorded. So I'm going to call it the recording because that's the recording that will be the only recording of the actual coaster. Now I'm going to save it in HD um, 720p uh, WMV. Now Windows Mo Move Maker for Windows XP doesn't can't support HD so I got a couple of add-ons that allow it to. I'll put a di link in the description for you to download them. Though if you have X Vista or 7, HD is already integrated. And now you can begin the rendering or saving movie file for you guys so if you guys want to see anything else like how I do my 3d effects or add those little logos in the bottom or how I do those ending things please just tell me in the comments below that is all I have for today uh, if there's anything else you want to see me do 
uh again tell me in the comments below uh i might be playing a video game uh oh yeah i also am going to be getting the gtx 460 video card i'm gonna get rid of my not get rid of but i'm gonna put it alongside my 8400 gs and i'll have a nice uh rig anyway thanks for watching and thank you for listening bye